Well, I'm sitting here in my chair in my bedroom, and I really enjoy this room. This room has brought a lot of initial inspiration. I say initial because it's in this room that I have started most of my chapters, either sitting in this chair, sometimes drinking coffee in the bed in the mornings. But I keep, I have two baskets in this room, and in one of them I keep a journal, and most of the chapters in my book reflections started in this journal here. And I would reach a certain part, point, I would get the initial thoughts, jot them down in this journal, and, and then move on to the computer later. But it all started with writing in this journal, either sitting in this chair or sitting up in the bed. Uh, I receive a lot of inspiration in this room because I am on the fifth floor of a condo building right downtown in Kansas City, but I overlook a park. And so I see some nature, I see the trees, I see it coming into bloom in the springtime. I see people walking in the park. They can't see me, but I can see them. And it's just always been a place where I could write. It's sort of like living a dream I always had. I raised my family in the suburbs in a nice house, but I've always worked downtown and always had a desire to live down here and to be able to write. So once my boys were raised and off in college, this is where I moved to. Uh, I've also had some difficulties throughout the past few years and during the times that I wrote, and I always knew that somehow you have to hang on to a little bit of hope. And for me, when I would wake up in the mornings, I could look out the window and I can sometimes watch the sun rising, but there's something else that was on the other side of this chair that I kept so it would be the first thing that I saw every morning when I woke up. I would look over here and I would see this book. And this book is called The Best is Yet to Be. And it's by a very renowned citizen in Kansas City, Missouri, Mr. James Stowers, who founded the Sowers Institute and also American Century Investments and it's his story and I found a lot of inspiration although I've read the book and his story is amazing I found the most inspiration from the title of this book the best is yet to be because even during hard times you have to have something to hang on to so this has been a, a source of hope for me and the view here has been a source of inspiration and so this is where I begin most of my writings.